Visionaries, welcome back to the planet. I just want to come in and give you a quick recap of my alkaline fast. Uh, 12 days went really fast and I ended the fast this past Saturday. So you'll probably be seeing this either on Monday evening, Tuesday morning, something like that. So just wanted to kind of rewind, rewind back to the beginning a little bit and let you know why I decided to do the fast in the first place, what I ingested on the fast, how the fast transition halfway through my results, all that fun stuff. If you are new to the planet, please do subscribe, love new visitors, like, share the content as well excited to get to know you guys as you come in and for my veterans thank you for coming back for yet another awesome video on the planet so thank you thank you and generally i'm probably going to be uploading videos at least once a week so definitely stay tuned is in addition to the alkaline videos that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be talking about my healthy diet, healthy eating, being a vegan, transitioning from eating meat and back a couple of times in my life, the challenges of that, um, the foods that I love, just talking about food in general on the planet. So please do stay tuned. So generally I have great energy coming off of the fast. It was a little challenging in the beginning days because I went straight from a totally um, omnivorous diet. So I was eating meat and vegetables on my diet and then decided to do a 12 day fast. I have been watching some savvy videos that I was familiar with all throughout my journey for at least eight to 10 years now. Um, and so I revisited some of that stuff because I had reincorporated animal proteins back into my diet. And so I wanted to do something different and I always get the hankering to do something different around spring into summertime. My body just wants something different to eat differently. And so that's what I was focused on in starting the fast from having doing the fast and having an alkaline diet at different points in my life, I already knew the nutrients that I needed. So you guys can look back on some of the videos and see the sea moss gel that I made. So there's a separate video with that, but then in my blog post about the alkaline diet, I talk about you know what I used it in, either with veggie broth or made my sea moss drink daily, just had made sure I incorporated daily. So I was getting the nutrients that I needed. So for the first six days of the fast, it was strictly liquids. And I intended to continue to do that for the remainder of the fast, but I gave into cravings and started eating, but I was eating uh, along the alkaline diet anyway. So I just incorporated alkaline solids, the foods that are on Savy's list in the final six days. So in the first six days, I probably lost about five pounds. And then in the last six days, maybe two or three more pounds. So overall, an eight pound weight loss. I didn't get into the fast for weight loss, just general health, wellness, cleansing, spring cleaning of sorts. So overall, it was definitely beneficial to me from a physical and spiritual standpoint learned a lot about myself during the detox process as I was becoming cleaner in the nutrients from not only the sea moss gel, but then from the fig tree online supplement. Shout out to Ma'a um, and her supplements. And I will be doing a separate review of that versus the Dr. Say We Sell food. So at different points in time, I've utilized those products from both companies. Um, in my diet to ensure that I had a well-balanced diet in addition to the fruits, vegetables, um, grains, and things that are on the alkaline food list. So if you need to know what foods are on the current alkaline food list or the food list through history, 
you can find them on the channel. I'll put a card up above somewhere or link down below somewhere where you can get to those. I have the 2020 list, the 2019, 2018, and I'm gonna keep going backwards for comparison reasons so that you guys can see how the list has transformed over time. Some of the foods that were on there before that's no longer on there, things of that nature, because I know that there is some controversy about what the true list is now that Dr. Sebi has transitioned. Uh, so if you need reference to those lists, they'll be here in video format as well. So, and being familiar with that, um, definitely made sure to incorporate the proper nutrients and to supplement the wellness that's coming from eating the fruits and vegetables and things and making sure that I have the essential nutrients because as we know, or if you might not know, uh, sea moss has 92 of 102 nutrients that we need on a daily basis in our body. So very healthful type of superfood. Um, and so I'm going to be doing additional videos showing you what I utilize the sea moss in to have it on a daily basis. And then scan video um, using it on my skin as well to keep that glow going the essence going. So I'll be bringing you guys that. But yeah, just, um, it was definitely a process that was cleansing, healthful, beneficial for me. I think if I had to do it again, that I would take baby steps into transitioning myself from not doing a fast in several years, eating a diverse diet, including animal proteins and going from that strictly to an alkaline vegan fast. I think that would have helped to sustain me through the remainder of the fast if I had done maybe a five day um, strictly liquids and then maybe a month later then go to 10 day and then 12 days or whatever instead of just saying, hey, woke up this morning, got the stuff I need, in house, coincidentally, let me just start the fast. Um, also, I think that I probably would have had like a backup for if I did need to transition to solid foods at some point, if the cravings were too strong or whatever, um, would have motivated me to move in a different direction that I would already have meals planned and things of that nature because on that seventh day when I decided to do that and essentially the diet or the diet the fast turned into an intermittent fast so for a majority of the day except for a four-hour window I was having liquids anyway so it was kind of like um, just for those four hours I would incorporate some solid foods some solid vegetables and fruits in um, during that time so it, I didn't like totally transition and was eating all day. It still was at a regimented time um, in the evening for a four hour period. So um, I would have most likely prepared myself for that if I had to transition and just had some things prepared so that I wouldn't feel like I'm making a total departure from the fast in general. But overall, I did enjoy the process, even though the first four to five days, like my brain was going all over the place. Like, why don't you feed me? I feel starved and all this kind of stuff until my body kind of regulated it out and I didn't feel as much panic. Also, my body got used to the fact that I was drinking so much fluid, so many fluids, because that's the other thing I think with my regular eating regimen when I'm not fasting that I don't drink enough water, guys. So as you know, water is super duper, super duper important for cleansing and hydrating of your body in general, not just when you're in a fasted state, liquid fasting, whatever. Um, so I definitely, it definitely forced me into the rigor of making sure that I drank enough fluids throughout the day. And then also when you have the supplements, Fig Tree Online supplements, any supplements in your diet, you definitely want to have enough water to 
let them do their magic, work their way through, keep your body hydrated, flush out the toxins and stuff. So water is super important. And we know for those that are familiar with the savvy diet, food list, all of that is to consume spring water because it has the nutrients that you need in there and it's not distilled and supposedly like, you know, uh, modified in any way to strip out the nutrients from the water. So you definitely want to find the purest source and to get some good spring water. If you're going to drink water instead of tap water or distilled water or whatever other kind of waters there are. So yeah, it's drinking the spring water with lime and my body over the first three days, it was like a frenzy back and forth to the restroom doing the number one and all that kind of stuff. But then my body got used to the fact that I'm flushing things out and um, I didn't, well, I wasn't in such a frenzy. Like I could go out for a walk or something and I'd be running back home um, in a panic <laughs> or something like that. So um yeah those were the interesting days those were the most challenging days and then when i was nicer to myself after i you know broke my fast and started intermittent fasting and introducing foods and in the, into the seventh day um everything kind of just settled in and it was an overall calm and peace to it and it was easier to then get to the end of it and relax into it and really be in deep thought, like mentally, just the overall calm and wellness kind of happened after the first six days until the seventh day and me settling myself and saying I did well whether I set out to do 12 days liquid fast only, and I did six days liquid fast only, and then the rest having some food during the intermittent fasting period, it is what it is. It worked for me, and um, it was a good, a good experience. So I'm happy that I did it. And I really want to, to hear from you guys. Like if you're embarking on a journey, if you are new to alkaline vegan eating or a veteran to it, or newly going into a fast, you fasted before, haven't fasted before, whatever your experience might be, is very helpful for me to learn from you guys as well. So definitely do leave a comment down below. Let me know why you're embarking on this journey, how you came across this video, and uh, share some tips and knowledge, motivation, all that awesome stuff. And I definitely will get back to you, respond to you. So again, as always, I thank you for being on the planet. I hope this was helpful. And stay tuned for even more content. And if you are new here, there's lots of stuff, lots of content on here in general. And then I have a second channel, guys. I have my Absolute Venus channel. So between the two, I'm sure that you will find lots of awesome stuff that um, you can sink your teeth into on the channel. So thank you so much for visiting the planet today. I will see you soon. And until next time, be well and peace, family.